and now for something completely new, refreshing and different at the same time, let's uh, have a session of Impress Improve. So here we go, I haven't seen whatever follows next. So uh, we, we, we will uh, talk about, uh, well, not exactly the new maintainers process, but uh, about how we use a, a combined harvester for tidying up for a flower pot. It's time to harvest. Uh, what we are doing has been unchanged for centuries. It's a long tradition we have been uh, receiving, reviewing all over and doing more or less the same. Uh, what we have to do is to mow and bind the, the crops that are cut by sight, uh, binding them together, uh, building a, a regular structures in semi-pyramidal fashion. Uh, some people say it looks like a tent. I, I don't know. I, 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 I still feel this more as a cone or a sheath, right? Uh, uh, ma making a stook so it dries correctly. Uh, in the past, uh, what we had is a, a manual separation called threshing, so the grains would be separated from the chaff. This, uh, uh, this uh, brought the uh, need to beat grains out of ears. That was done as uh, illustrated here in this beautiful uh, graph by flailing the, the, uh, the chaff and, uh, until it, it, the grains fall out of the ears. It's a very intensive uh, step, uh, a very intensive work. So a whole family has to be involved in all order to reach the step, uh, the, the, the point we want to achieve. So mowers and treasures, uh, as seasonal workers, have to travel from farm to farm to farm and uh, offer their work, which is a, a very, very sorely needed sometimes. And a high percent of, of, uh, percentage of people tend to, to work in agriculture at that time. Uh, as you know, the Debian project uh, is striving to automate uh, processes. So we have been involved in mowing machines, which has been uh, 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 yielding the, the consequence of replacing the mowers so one person can do the work of dozens. That does bring in an interesting social pro uh, problem to, to our, our table, but well, what can we do? We'll address that later probably. The first versions were run by, by horsepower. That was more or less until Sarge. After Sarge, we started doing this by machine. It was so fast. Our machines got so fast by them that binding became the bottleneck bottleneck so uh, that was the next step we have to automate next so we we put up together reaper binders that uh, started automatic both mowing and binding that's a very interesting development that uh, had entire teams uh, working together as a, a with a single uh, target in mind which is very 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 uncommon for our distribution Right? The invention was made uh, trying to catch a dog with a string, where the dog circ circumvented being caught by biting the string. This reminds us of the new process where you upload a package and the FTP master say no, and you upload it again and they say no, and the, until you reach a, a point where nobody can object anymore, and an, an artificial dog snout was built to bind the shifts together. Then we focused on thresh, threshing machines. They were also built uh, on horsepower by, uh, in the early days, and they were shared between farms. We set up render farms or BLDDs, and the, 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 the threshing machines were manually carried from one farm to another. Uh, you could re refer to, uh, to the presentations done some devcoms ago, for example, the multi-arm reproducibly uh, Monster by Vagrant. Uh, that's one of the examples on how we, we started to, to break that trend. Then harvesters are getting combined. It, it's a very exciting development. That was more or less done in the Lenny uh, days, right? The whole process happens in one machine. So we start doing containers. We start doing a, a virtual servers. We, we use many uh, different techniques 
to do in one single machine what, what we did in a distributed fashion beforehand. Uh, one person now does the work of weeks in only a few hours. Uh, this was originally done on the US only because we have non-US section, uh, cryptography was not exportable, but at some time uh, this was exported to Europe. And one, once it was introduced to Germany, well, the whole world had to take part of it and the non-US became a, a thing of the past. Uh, in Eastern Europe this got uh, much faster, of course. Uh, some historical ones uh, had made uh, had uh, uh, bales of straw. Uh, today, the straw is either thrown out of the bales from by the, by the different machine, or it is shred, which is very interesting. It's uh, a, an instance of eating your own dog food. You 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 uh, shred the the straw itself and use it as a fertilizer. So the output of the build it is becomes what the build it runs to keep building. It's, it's, it's really exciting. So what does the future hold for us? Well, we will be combining har harvesters. Maybe we will set up something like a, a, a multi, a, a multi architecture buildings a, so we can grind the grains together, prepare and bake bread from the build it is themselves. Uh, this will be used uh, by building strawmen for easier argumentation. And this will be delivered to customers using carrier pigeons. That's great in pandemic times, right? In the future, more will come. Full virtualization. You will not even need a field. You will, be, you, you will have a virtual field in, in your living room. That will be really uh, one of the highlights of uh, Debian 11 or 12. What does this all have to do with flower pots? Well, uh, we can talk about the virtualization opportunities. We can talk about uh, the consolidation we're doing, the, container uh, the containers we're building, but no, it has nothing to do. It doesn't bring out the combined harvester, but, but it helps tidying up the flower pot. So thank you very much for your time. I hope uh, this uh, session proved interesting to you. And uh, well, uh, that was it. Thank you. Careful misconceptions of unknown future markets and unknown slides. Where does it come from? Uh, origami. A little bit of data, as you can see. A lot of charts go upwards. The charts go upwards. The charts go upwards. So that clearly leads to some correlation. So is correlation happening here or elsewhere? Is it really correlating or is it dividing from what is actually useful? Is it really correlated or is it a bunch of numbers? Um. Oh boy, this is really correlated, is it? Or is it? You know, there's a book, um, Why? It shows an interesting uh, statistics and why correlation isn't causation, they say, in statistics. So marriage rate in Kentucky and people who drowned after falling out of a fishing boat. Well, many things that decline, or many things that decline or, uh, do not correlate with other things that decline. Many things that are going up do not correlate with other things that are going up. So yeah, be careful what you say about correlation and causation. Uh, no idea what that pathway is. Uh, and credits. Thank you. Good morning, people. I'm going to talk about something I have not the slightest clue about. 
okay, this is nothing special, but this time I don't even know what I will talk about. Somehow I hope the slides will be in English, but who knows. Okay, the topic is about cryptography. Great. As a Debian person, I obviously have no clue at all about cryptography because we don't have anything to hide. It's a no-social contract. So, we will see. Ah, and the whole thing is also about hackers. Hackers are evil people who will fix your bugs. And that use weird devices to do weird thing with them. Well, it's nothing very surprising. Ah, and yeah, hackers also play along with things. And they love all kind of beauty, especially they admire and love the beauty and the ugliness. In theory they understand everything, in practice they understand nothing. And they don't obey. They don't obey to anyone, especially not to them. And they don't care about if you went to university or anything, they just care about, do you have a clue about what you speak about and what not. So in this case, I'm in trouble because I have no clue about what I'm speaking about. And obviously they don't like if someone is running with a camera and looking at them. No one likes this. And they tend to tell countries and states what they are doing wrong. Yeah. And of course it also should be fun. Yeah, cryptography is, if I'm writing something and no one sees it, so if I go like this and write something, this is cryptography. Yeah, in many cases earlier cryptography was just weird things, but then they had some mathematics behind it, and it became actually a um, scientific discipline. Yeah, this is RSA. Um, if you want to break RSA, then you need to factorize very big numbers. What is an NP complete problem as far as we know? But maybe P is the same as NP, so who knows? Oh, I'm running heavily out of time, what never happened. Yeah, obviously, if I am not anonymous, then I need to all the time think, oh, if I'm doing something, will this have consequences for me? And the better uh, I can hide, the better for me. And it's easier to hide in a big crowd than in a small crowd. So it's better to be an uploading DD because there are 800 of them than a non uploading DD because there are about 35 of them. This is, yeah, big proxying. You send to this, then to this, then to this, and this one. Just knows this one, this one, just knows this one, and so on. And so, no one knows what you are looking for. Yeah, you can also do cryptography with paper and scissors. 
and this was it. Thank you very much. Now comes the live part of this of this session. And first up is Aloisio to tell us everything you always wanted to know about ham radio repeaters, but were afraid to ask. All right. So good afternoon, good evening, good night to everyone. We are here to talk about the repeater start ham radio 2. Start stands for the showing the immature repeaters too. Uh, so I'm going to try to change slides here. Yeah, why ham radio? Uh, ham radio works many places where a cell phone won't. It's not just some thousand dollars large box. You can check out internet radio linking project with a handheld radio. Uh, all stars repeaters, orders linked around the world, and they're all accessible with a handheld UHF or VHF radio about $100 or less. Uh, so what about repeaters? As any of any hand radio listener knows, it's often really quiet locally. So uh, use a repeater near you. They're often linked to other places around the world, which is very nice. But where are those repeaters? Repeater Book is a not open source app uh, and only for proprietary mobile phones like iOS and Android based devices. Our Finder is also a proprietary app. Uh, it's a paid proprietary app actually. And so we've got this new app uh, that allow you to browse all the nearby repeaters and around the world. Uh, you can see what IRLP repeaters are linked to, uh, and that's updated every 10 minutes. You can show offline, like when you're in the woods, which is pretty nice. You can show a topographic map, which other repeater apps don't. Uh, so talking about, especially specifically about the repeater star details, it's an open source GPL available as a dev package, and it's really easy to install as on Debian, Ubuntu, Raspberry Pi, Librem phone, etc. And it uses the only open data repeater project with data you can also use in your offline application. And you can check out more at hearham.live. Uh, this is a screenshot from, from the app. You can see here, uh, when you got the cursor center there, you can find information about the nearest repeaters that are shown on the map. And you can add uh, a repeater to the dictionary, to sorry, to the directory by clicking the add repeater button down there. And you can also press the GeoClue find position to see where uh, you are. And uh, I guess that's it. And so what to do next? Uh, you can find frequencies nearby that locals are chatting on. You can use the repeater start listing of frequencies nearby so you can listen to on RTL, SDR, or radio, or whatever. And you can get a hand radio license and talk and use it where there are no cell phones. And that's basically it. Thank you very much. And have a very good DevConf this year. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, next up, next up is Ben, who will be, um, who has had some slides inflicted upon him. You're on mute. I'm on mute and I also haven't uh, thought to it. Should I just sort of, also you're really rustly, please refrain from rustling. Rustling is not permitted in the Impress Improv session. Um, meanwhile, oh hi Nicholas. I guess we're just keeping, keeping everybody entertained, keep everything from stalling whilst, um, oh, brilliant choreography by Gunnar. Um, uh, share my screen isn't doing anything. Well, try... Uh, possibly, possibly I need to send a PDF. Um, okay, well, I guess I will... I've also had some slides inflicted upon me, so I'll see if that gets any better. Uh, application window... Oh, well, that's a bit rubbish. Uh, one moment, please. Uh, I think I need to regenerate this as a, as a PDF.
if somebody else could, uh, oh, hello. Um, if somebody else could, oh, no, that's good. Is it working? Uh, no, it's blank. Can you, can you turn it into a PDF? And hope for the best that that gets better. We apologize for the fault in the improvisations. Those responsible have been sacked. Export, save. Let's hope this is in some way better. Meanwhile, would anybody on the Impress Improv panel like to share an experience or how this um, how this session came about? Yes, it was a discussion on the MinidevConf online IRC and Gunnar asked if someone wants to do slides in Spanish and I was silly enough to say yes. Ah, that's always dangerous. Well, it was a very internationalized Spanish. It was almost English what they sent you. Okay, is that, is that good? Yes. Right. Everything I know about historical brass instruments. Here you see the uh, amazing family uh, of butts. Uh, these would be played by uh, a trio uh, of usually family me uh, family members, and they made an awful racket. Uh, here is a saxophone. Uh, there is some controversy over what exactly which family of instruments uh, the saxophone belongs to. Uh, they may be made of brass, uh, but uh, some people claim that. Uh, they're actually woodwinds, so they should need it. And this is a, a shofar. It's uh, uh, clearly been uh, carved out of a, uh, a narwhal tusk, uh, that, that being the uh, traditional material. And uh, that's uh, apparently uh, a brass instrument. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this one looks like it's just been unwrapped from its uh, traditional uh, traditional uh, bag. Uh, and this is yes, it's a serpent, uh, which uh, historically uh, was made uh, from a from a dead uh, snake, which would be uh, gutted and cured. Uh, and then you would have these uh, uh, apertures and um, uh, controls uh, connected to it. But today uh, it would be made out of uh, synthetic material. Uh, and so this is this is uh, this is this diagram explains how that you how you would uh, um, how you would construct a serpent. Uh, you would start with a basic cylindrical form, and then. Uh, uh, wrap the uh, wrap the case around that. Well, thanks, Natty. Uh, th thanks for small mercies. Ah, abwickelbare Körper Es handelt sich hierbei nicht um Mumien. Geometrie? Profit. 
the Theorbo. Yep, that's, that definitely isn't a, a brass instrument or any kind of wind instrument. Uh, much older than the others. Uh, and yeah, it's a traditional one playing it to look uh, look away to make uh, to make it a little more difficult. Roll credits. Thank you very much. Um, I guess, well, turnabout is fair play. So I guess I'm doing this. One moment, please. Application window. Where is this thing? Um, just a moment. I can do this better. If I share my entire screen, it's just going to end in tears, I think. But is that working? That's not working. One moment. Uh, um, is that showing? No, I don't think showing the whole screen works at all. Oh, hold you on. You have to show a specific you. window. It doesn't seem to actually come on the menu. Uh, just a moment. Uh, I have VLC. I have... Uh... Excuse me, help is on the way. Um, meanwhile, would anybody on the panel like to offer, offer another opinion or... Uh... Well, we were getting an offer for somebody who had not signed up for this to actually take part. Did uh, this person join? Yeah, I, I said on IRC chat, I said, man, I regret not doing Impress Impro. Oh. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, and then uh, Yana was like, you can still go, you can still do it. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll join. Why not? Um, if if but, our uh, session director agrees, if, uh, just uh, compiled a very old Magic Point uh, stack and shared it on the Jitsi chat. So, well, uh, Nadi should say what and when and how. It's too long, so you can pick just a section for it. OK. I, it, it, if it's cool with you guys, I mean, I don't want to butt in on the, on the fun. I didn't sign up. <laughs> Nadi? Uh, Okay, here it is. Yeah, open it up. Man, got a lot of stuff open. Got a lot of stuff open. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Copy link address. How are you guys doing today? Good? Oh, you got another one. Great. Or somebody Oh. Do you want me to do this? Or somebody who's muted uh, started this. Maybe, the, yeah, this is Natis. So let's uh, respect her order. <sighs> help has arrived. Help has helped me. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm doing this. That's life. His logo is a beautiful embroidery pattern has issued its annual report for 2020. Production has been steadily increasing. Oh my goodness! Intracompatibility growth has happened and metastable units are increasing. Precision delivery is always important but doesn't always happen. Production. Well, production rests on the back of people. Um, people in every shade of the rainbow because the rainbow is good. Now, augmentation means that your interval is slightly bigger than what you intended. So as the augmentation carries on and occasionally slips, eventually the result is yes. 
development? Well, <laughs> there are aliens who occasionally aliens are, de are involved in development. Um, but most importantly, we must always honor the hippopotamus. Also, for the benefit of all involved, here is a capybara photo. Development continues, but the color scheme is, well, actually the color scheme is okay. Um, there's always geometry involved in development and there is always a slightly dodgy light source just off the center of the photo. Please remember to always make sure that your blinds are in the correct position so that development can continue in an unhindered fashion. Social media. Well, some of us believe in that sort of thing, but um, memes are important because they contribute to the mimetic synergy. Um, heterogeneous amplification means that, you know, different people can boost different things and this results in leverage, which of course is what happens to the mimetic synergy after, after long enough. Um, further social media uh, results in an organic text because inorganic texts are currently not really being printed. Vernacular propagation means that you can read your social media in whatever language you choose, which of course is very inclusive. And um, if you wish to, um, <laughs> If you wish to organize vernacular propagation in your language, this is always very welcome. And the credits, um, that was a lot of slides. Um, thank you very much. And thank you for putting up with this nonsense. I will now bounce back to, well, everybody. Would anybody would anybody else like to play? Sorry, I missed um, I missed what Nicholas was saying earlier about taking part. Yeah, basically, I think uh, he's ready to do it. Does he have slides? He gave me slides. Let's go. Yeah, I, do I it. Yeah. Slides. Is there anyone else going? Is there anyone else left? Um, I think that's I think that's everybody. Okay. Well, hey. Okay, great. I'm gonna I'll start. Why not? Uh, I'm going to share my screen. How do I do that? Boom. And I'm going to go to the application window. Okay. Uh, hopefully you guys see this. Oh, nice one. Do you want to do you want to just put picture in picture by clicking the camera icon? Picture by picture by clicking the camera icon. Uh, which? Oh, 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 yes. Yeah, there we go. So you see my face now, right? There you are. Yeah, there we go. Yay. Okay. Um, Perl security. Some ideas to follow when programming with Perl. And uh, this was made uh, relatively recently in the year 2004 at Porto Alegre, Brazil. So uh, I'll just do, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll go through the first uh, couple slides and then you guys just tell me to stop or whatever. Um, so we're going to go over a couple things about this, um, an introduction into programming securely with Perl, avoiding, uh, avoiding uh, bad practices, uh, reporting warnings, handling Tate and data when using functions, using functions, using objects, and randomly organized extras. Um, target audience is people who probably code curl, curl um, which I don't, but that's fine. Uh, conscious people trying to avoid mistakes before it's too late. You know, uh, you put... Uh, you make one bad decision when you're like programming uh, encryption. I don't think you're supposed to do that yourself. And then uh, you get ransomware on your computer. Common mistakes, useful ideas. Uh, let's see here. And again, another, just, just in case you didn't know, just in case you didn't know, here's what we're going to be doing. Why is uh, good security-wise about Perl? Uh, what is good security-wise about Perl? Um, well, non-typified variables. You don't have to tip the variables like you do in the uh, United States. You have to, uh, you don't have to do that. They, they, the tipping is done in the price of the variable itself. 
which is great and much better cost effective. Um, automatic memory management. Um, so you don't need to worry about uh, doing M alloc and C alloc and all those uh, pleasantly good Unix uh, methods, functions. High extensibility, you can uh, use Perl for a bunch of things. You can compile it quick, quickly. And I'm, I, in fact, I'm pretty sure, isn't Perl an interpreted language? Anyways, and transparent, alterna uh, transparent alternation between compile and execute styles. Uh, let's see it go. What is not? A lot of simplicity and power um, is not that. It is not that. Oh, I got it. Okay. I see. And then uh, let's see what else it is not. Objects should not just be seen as a patch. You can't just use objects to cover up bad programming pack uh, practices. Encourage uh, programmers to believe in black magic. Um, it, yeah, you can't believe in black magic. That's bad. That's bad. And in case you didn't know, again, here are, here's what we're doing. Um, and uh, introduction to strict brief pragmas living with the strict PA. Aren't you guys excited to learn? Aren't you guys excited to learn about what this is? Strict fires, variable scooping. Um, steps only variables to clear with. And... Um, all right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> right. We have right. had a question from the audience, which is, why is a raven like a writing desk? Why is a raven like a writing desk? I don't think anybody else knows either. A rate like the bird, a raven? Mm -hmm. um, is, the, is the desk writing or? I don't know. I mean, I mean, if the desk is writing, that could that is like automatic. This would be like an automatic. Um, wouldn't this be sort of analogous to artificial intelligence? I think both have uh, you, for both it's you like, have a feeder. It's like a mechanical Turk that uh, that uh, runs a harvest tractor. Yeah, I mean, the thing with mechanical Turks is they're really supposed to be playing chess. Yeah, so, very good so you that. know, engaging them in 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 agriculture is really just um, really just sort of you know averting them from their true calling, which would be chess. Hmm. Let me see if there are any more. Are there any more questions from from the audience? Oh dear, somebody has just told us raven jokes are no cause for alarm. Okay, any more questions? Oh, yes. Are there any programmers who don't believe in black magic? No. Even though it's bad, Nicholas tells us it's bad. <laughs> Well, yes, but uh, I, I do not believe in coloring magic in different ways. I mean, uh, what if what you see as black magic, I see it as red magic. Well, I mean, I've also just been informed that in chess one has rooks, not ravens. They're not black magic, but they are black birds. So that's usually the case. Yes, I have not seen a red uh, raven. Though they're not the same as blackbirds. Also, did you know that the bluebird by Stanford is not about a bluebird, but about a blue bird? Um, does anybody else have anything? Any more questions? Any more comments? This is not so much a question as a comment. Anything goes here. Um, ah, I've been informed you'll find both at the Tower of London. Oh, that's a terrible pun. Both mechanical turks and ravens. But the mechanical ferrets come into this. Oh, mechanical turks, right? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, well, from the our bad, trees are, are made from black magic and red magic. That's that's uh, very true. Yeah. Oh, oh. I should actually look at the etherpad. Is anybody else looking at the etherpad? Because I'm not. Well, Pat Trapper is asking whether I did upload Harvester. Uh, no, I, I was planning to <laughs> harvest the uploads first. 
Oh, here's an actual question. Um, for Perl use, prefer Bash for security. I think that would be an ecumenical matter. And um... wait, what he's what, what did they say? Bash for security. Yeah, let's bash the security. Ah. I thought Bash was on Glow. <laughs> But uh, I think should we um, should we carry on trying to fill the next five minutes? It does oh, become Phil, more what secure. Are you talk about? If you replace it with bash, well, you can replace many things with a very short, very small shell script. Sorry, say that three times fast. Yeah, you uh, can replace more most directors with a shell script. Most speakers probably also. Unless, unless they're wearing the director hat. Um, I believe it is absolutely essential well, that they what, show the director hat. Is the director hat a red, black, or some other color? No, it's blue. What? What? What, what is this director hat? Maybe. Just what? a minute. Just a minute. You have neither a hat nor a ch chair. What kind of director are you? <laughs> <laughs> rude. Um, the wait, not you the, are Aren't you the talkmeister? <laughs> yeah, no. The, see, the director is actually the director is actually being sensible here. Um, but here is um, here is <laughs> just a moment. View image. Sorry. No, that's not what I wanted to do. That view image. Oh, never mind. F eleven. Where are you? Sharing the screen. Sharing the window. Everybody, behold the director uh -huh. hat. It is a very. It, it is a thing of beauty and is possibly coming soon to a DevConf near you, um, probably later rather than sooner. So now you need to wear this when directing, otherwise you're not accepted as director. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but it just gives you, um, <laughs> it means that you can't be replaced by a very small shell script. Yeah, just by a bit big of shell script. I mean, the hat does take up a lot of scripting. So we have two minutes remaining. Um, any final comments? Could you write a shell script in two minutes? Nope. Of course you can. Well, you I could write shells. You could write a shell. What do you mean by shell script? Yeah, anything, you you write... Write, anything you write in a shell is a shell script. Of course. Yeah. You can. If, if every one of my comments uh, were to take more than two minutes, I would be fired by now. Well, if you if you are paid by lines of code, just don't lose loops. <laughs> oh, badges! Oh, that's badges. Cute. Should we, we speak in badges? Should we badger them? Um, I will request it from the website team that both of these badges specifically will be emailed. The we'll raccoons. No, well... Possibly Tanu possibly Tanukis. They're, they're Debcon 15 I, badges. I, 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 can only, I can only see a Nine of Diamonds. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> Sorry, point of order. That's the bad... Well, that's not the badger, because I see no Nine of Diamonds. Um, and that means there's one minute remaining, and I would just like to point out that you can see a repeat of the repeater talk by the person who actually wrote the slides on Friday at the um, at the lightning talk session. There are still a few spaces available there. Please contact the lightning team on is lightning real at devconf.org. And I think um, so, I don't shall believe we... in lightning. <sighs> We had a minute to go. Oh, we could we could do some key signing. Okay, oh, yeah, everybody, or... half of you get on this side and half of you get on this side and you can do the key signing dance. 
please people, if somebody still doesn't believe my identity, please sign me. Yeah, <laughs> sign, me, sign me, sign me. <laughs> no, I think that's a lusty. I don't think that's your card at all. Right. Oh. Um, <laughs> I think. I I'm, 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 I'm mean, my, my name is Nicholas. Everybody knows. Well, yes. So I think we're at uh, we're at forty five past. We should probably let these nice people get on with what they're doing. Um, well, most of these people are nice, I'm sure. So um, we are all individuals. Yeah, I'm not. Shut up. <laughs> I'm Brian and so is my spouse. Um, we should probably let everybody get on, come back if you're into electronics, because it'll be B-Dale. Thank you so, for organizing. Thank you for, thank you for going along with this. Thank you very much. It was very fun. Yay.